Good evening. This video is in response to Jenna Marbles, my thoughts on marriage. And before I go for any further with my own thoughts, I want to say, Jenna, uh, the entire time that I was watching your video, I could not have agreed more with everything you had to say. And I was really glad to hear you say it. Uh, now, bridging into my own thoughts, first of all, I personally myself do not understand why two people feel the need to get married. For legal aspects, for you know, children or property or assets, things like that, I do understand marriage. But why two people have to announce to the world through a wedding that they're together, or why they have to have a license between them, or you know, a, a, a legal document between them. If you're going to be with somebody, shouldn't you just be happy to be with them? Um, and of course, this is just my opinion. I'm not saying anybody is wrong for doing anything that they're doing. I'm just saying this is the way I see it. And yeah, it's just my opinion. But I don't understand why people feel the need to do that. And, you know, spend exorbitant amounts of money in churches or wherever. And for that matter, whatever exorbitant might mean to you, it's not going to mean the same thing to everyone. But spending money like that, whether you can afford it or not, um just kind of seems a little silly to me. Yeah, sure, there are going to be memories and stuff, but I personally just, like, for example, for one example, I don't see why a bride would want to spend huge sums of money on a dress that they're going to wear potentially only once. And, I mean, wedding dresses are generally designed to be worn at weddings, and ideally, how many are you supposed to have? One? Um, maybe it doesn't work out and you have a second one, but that amount of money is that worth well apparently it is worth the person worth it to the person who's buying it but i don't understand that uh, and, and then also in her in her video in jenna's video she touched on gay marriage and i feel the same way with gay marriage i don't i don't understand it um at the risk of sounding like a hypocrite i support gays and I mean I am gay but I support the rest of my fellow gays in seeking the right to get married only because straight people have the right to get married a man and a woman have the right to get married so why shouldn't a man and a man or a woman a woman or like she said um, somebody in a penguin this is going to sound really fucked up but I was watching an episode of My Strange Addiction a few days ago uh, on my laptop, and there was this guy who was in a committed relationship with his car. He named his car Chase. He was getting weird reactions from anybody he told, for and, and for he didn't really tell many people about it because of the reaction he would get. I don't understand that. The reaction that is, he's not hurting anybody. He's not. He, nobody's going to have to be concerned about cheating or children or anything like that. If he wants to be be in a committed relationship with his car, and his car is made, what and, you know, Chase is what makes him happy, as long as he's, as he's not hurting anybody, who cares? Who cares? And why would anybody care? It's not their life, it's not their car, it's not their anything. Why do people have to be so worried about what other people are doing if these other people aren't hurting them or if what they're doing isn't affecting the person who's worried about what so-and-so is doing. Why? And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to stop there. I've got a lot more to say on this, but I could go for days and days and days. And so I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to call out my video response. So, <laughs> good evening, everyone.